video and as you can see with the title I finally get an exhaust of the car it's, it's taken me a while to do this it's just I've been getting like really expensive coats but I got a decent one at Powerflow and I'm taking the car there now yesterday I went to go buy some V-bands because they don't use a V-band they use like a clamp or something like that so I thought I'd get my own V-band so that I can disconnect the exhaust when needed just makes it easier going forward for making changes I'm gonna do a single box one small single box like I don't really care too much about the system so much I just don't want to straight pipe it the, the reason for the exhaust is Kilani told me that my exhaust needs to exit up the rear of the car and it currently exits right under me so really loud um, but it hasn't really been an issue it's more just it needs to exit up the rear so that's the reason for the exhaust and I thought I'd POV just so that you guys can Clutch, got him. <laughs> <laughs> so 
so this is what we were working with um, so that's the v-band that I got it's the ones with the basically quick release and yeah just going to do what an exhaust does That's my new exhaust note. Civilized. It's actually very quiet. <laughs> Not bad. Let's do a sound check. Do you want to give me a couple of couple of devs? pipe is interfering so that's a vibration so I need to make some adjustments I should have done that at power flow but I didn't know it was an issue at the time so hopefully the flex allows me to do some flexing I just want to see what it's doing for boost. It feels a little lazier. So I don't know if it's just all in my head because the car was louder, it seemed faster. I don't know. But at least now it's like you can actually record a video and not feel like I have to shout or drive over 80 to get rid of the drone. the car on Wednesday and my VVT is still not tuned in so if the roads are dry I would have asked Andrew to just go for a drive with me if we do some road tuning on it but I don't know it just feels like it's taking so long for us to actually get to tuning it correctly container fell over like at the Woodstock turn off and <laughs> yeah this is madness shame um, I'm on my way to Andrew quickly I'm 
not feeling super confident in the car. I plan on racing it, but in this state, I don't think it's a good idea. So I just want to go through, go through it with him and make sure that it's okay um, before I, I race it. Yeah, because the car, like I watched the footage back that I shot earlier, and the car was breaking up, and then I was looking at the RPM, it wasn't like fully revving out. So I'm not too sure. So we'll just give it a once over on the street and then I should be okay. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Yeah, that, that was, that was my <laughs> Okay guys, Andrew is currently um, setting up VPT so the car is super rich at the moment, just pulling out lots of fuel and making the car do weird things. Okay, so it's Sunday and last night Andrew and I went out tuning as you saw. But when I got to the fun part, my memory card filled up on my GoPro, so I actually didn't record a lot of it. We've come to the conclusion that the car might be surging. Um, that's what that sound is in boost. Um, I don't know if you guys picked that up, but it uh, sounded rather strange. So I am just taking it out quickly. I disconnected the back end of the exhaust. And I just want to do, do a pull and see what it sounds like. I was a bit busy, I should have come out earlier.
don't I don't even search. I, I don't know what that is. And the boost is not that high. I think we're around 1.6, 1.7 bar. like it's not doing it so let's just do a quick test so this is low boost 0.7 bar Not uh, facing 
downward like that. So that sounds fine actually. So we're just it's doing it with lots of boost. That sounded okay on low boost. Guys, I, I don't know, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Why does it sound like that? I don't know if you can distinctly hear the difference. I can hear that there's, that there's a new sound that was not there before when on spool. Taking that screamer pipe off makes, wow, it's actually, it sounds like a screamer now before with it facing down to the ground it, you can't hear the screamer open up like it does now huh makes sense because it's like it's just facing out with, uh, the reason I don't want to do that too much is because if flames pop out there it's in the bay and that's not safe okay I'm gonna call it here I, I don't know there's nothing else that I can think to do That'll change it. The turbo seems okay. I, I guess it's just there. I don't know. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.